five men saw him and they all shouted with joy here was, here was the largest and fiercest bull of all just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So, so they took him away for the bullfight day in in the cart. What a day it was! Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the Benderillos with a sharp, with a long sharp pens with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him madder, make him mad. Next the Pecadors, who rode skinny horses, and they they had long sharp they have a long spears to stick in the bowl and make him matter. Then came the the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies, and he. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull at last of all. Then then came the bull who then came the bull and you know who that was, don't you, Ferdinand? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And all the Benderillos were afraid of him, and the Pagadors were af were afraid of him, and the Metador was scarce stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and, every and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was he was going to fight fiercely, and butt and snore and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he was he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair and just no and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He he wasn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did, he just sat and smelled, and the Banderillos were mad, and the Pectadors were madder, and the Metrador was so mad, and he cried because he didn't show off with his cape and sword. So they take Ferdinand home. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling of flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end.